If you collect vintage glassware like I do, you definitely know this feeling. Looking closely at a photo of a table filled with glassware, I spotted that telltale opalware interior in that colorful outside that told me there's Pyrex at this yard sale. That's what convinced me to go. Welcome back to Textiles and Treasures. In this video, I'm going to share what I picked up at my very first yard sales of the season. If you're new here, I'm Kim and I hunt for vintage glassware, retro board games, and anything to do with textiles and fiber arts. Let's see what I found. I decided to get to the yard sale as soon as they opened at 8 a.m. because I spotted Pyrex in the picture but not just any Pyrex, one of the Pyrex pieces I've been on the lookout for. I spotted this blue snowflake divided casserole dish. As you can see, this is in excellent condition. The blue is super vibrant and of course it has the lid. I have the other two divided casseroles in this pattern and I also have the bigger casserole that matches this one. So I really wanted to complete my collection with this piece. The white on blue casserole was also being sold with this blue on white casserole. I found this same casserole casserole last summer at a church yard sale, so I didn't really need it, but they were being sold as a set. So I decided for $10, it was worth picking up both casseroles with the lids. As you saw with the Pyrex, some of the items were marked, but most of them were make an offer. So I just started hunting for things that interested me, staying away from some of the glassware that was priced a little bit higher than I wanted. I was super excited to head over to another table and find this Pyrex carafe. I have been on the lookout for a Pyrex carafe with the lid for quite a while. This one's in pretty good condition. There is some wear to the gold, but I do like that it has a gold design and that it's an interesting style. Of course, the lid is really cool as well and we can't forget the handle. I was super excited to find this because I've only found a few of them in really rough condition over the past year or so. I did find this little mini Pyrex carafe at Goodwill back in the winter and I really was hoping to find a bigger one with the lid. Still picking up the Pyrex, I was super super excited to find this Pyrex cookie jar. Pyrex put out these glass cookie jars as well as a cracker barrel and I had no idea what size they were. I had just seen pictures of them and I was hoping I would find them out in the wild. So when I found this with its lid, I was super excited. As you can see, it's in pretty good condition. There's some wear to the gold. It's definitely been loved, which is something I like to see when it comes to Pyrex. And the lid is in great condition. It's not a tight seal or anything. It just rests on top, but I'm really excited that I was able to find this. I've never seen it anywhere else. And with a sizable item like this, it's nice to find this in person. As I continued to hunt around the yard, I found more cool vintage items. I found this pair of Siamese cats and I was excited to find these because they are simple and white. I actually have a pair of these with creepy green eyes that I put out for Halloween but it's nice to have a simpler pair. On the bottom you can see the tag that says OCM Japan and this is actually Otagiri Mercantile Company. I had to look that up in order to know that but I just saw the Japan tag and knew that they were definitely vintage. These kitties seem to be fairly collectible so I was happy to find both of them at the yard sale. Speaking of cute critters, I was so excited to find this squirrel on a walnut. You may know that I've been picking up squirrels whenever I can find them. I think they're so cute. I love watching them in the spring and summer. I believe I saw another YouTuber pick this up and so I knew I had to find one for myself. As you can see, it is glazed on the inside and although it does look like one of those homemade ceramic pieces, it is actually made in Taiwan. My guess from that sticker is it's probably from the 80s or the 90s. I'm definitely looking forward to putting this out in the fall. I have a couple of other cute pieces that it'll look really nice with. Another cute piece that I picked up is this beautiful handmade pottery piece. I loved the vibrant yellow flowers. It's just so pretty. As you can see here, this was made by Salt Marsh Pottery in North Dartmouth, Massachusetts. Here you can see that it is stamped with the maker's name and 1986. It has this pretty yellow ribbon hanger, but they have some mildew damage, so I'm going to have to switch that out. However, this was definitely worth picking up since I was making a pile. I found this cute glass dolphin in with a bag of Christmas ornaments. Unfortunately, I didn't find any ornaments that I wanted, but I could not resist this glass dolphin. Dolphin. This is a beautiful blue color and it is so cute. I actually just noticed as I was making this video that it is signed here on the tail. I think I'm going to have to get out a magnifying glass in order to see what it says. Another piece that I decided to pick up is this beautiful wooden tray with 
strawberries. I like to find attractive trays either to display things on or to serve food on or to store things on. And I just could not resist this beautiful piece. It's hard for me to tell what kind of technique was used to make this tray. It kind of looks like inlay, but then it looks like it may have been etched and painted. I'm not entirely sure, but I decided that I really wanted to get this to celebrate strawberry season. And this was a really nice piece and I was already making a really big pile. I was happy to come across a box of these Christmas figurines. You probably have realized by now that I have a thing for cute Christmas figurines and these definitely fit the bill. As you can see here, there are kitties and dogs, mice and bears, and here are the other two that were in the box. Whenever I can find something in the box, I know it's probably been taken care of, so I decided to get these. As you can see, these figurines are made by Honko. They will definitely fit in well with the other Honko figurines that I have. Speaking of Christmas, I am always excited when I find ceramics that were hand painted in the 80s and 90s. I could not resist this bear holding a Christmas tree. It did come with the light and some of the little lights that you put inside the tree, and so I'm looking forward to displaying displaying this at Christmas. As you can see, he's in pretty good condition. There's a couple of nicks to the paint, especially here on the back where the light goes in. I think this will look great with all of the other vintage ceramics that I have. I like to light them all up for the holiday. As you can see on the bottom, this was signed by the person who made it and it is signed 1992. I also found this adorable turkey. I like the antique style as well as the gradient that you can see on this turkey. When I was paying for my items, they told me that the little holes on the top are for putting lollipops. I think those lollipops that you would have found back in the day at Banks. So I think this will look really, really cute for Thanksgiving. I don't have a whole lot of Thanksgiving items, so this definitely was coming home with me. You can see on the back of the feet that this was from Holland Mold. The last piece that I picked up was this Christmas slash winter house. As I mentioned, I like any ceramics that you can light up and put those colorful lights in, so I definitely decided to get this as well. You can see on the bottom that this is by Department 56. I know that Department 56 can be fairly collectible, so I decided it was worth picking up. It did come with the light, although it did not come with any of the lights that you would put in the tree. I almost forgot to share one of my favorite finds. I spotted this mid-century modern planter and had to have it. This is a milk glass or a white glass planter base. And as you can see, we have the chrome bottom. As you can see, the shape screams mid-century modern and I almost never find things like this. So I was so excited to pick it up. As you may know, I love plants. And so I was so excited to find this planter to display my plants. It just dresses it up a little bit. I was so excited to find this really cool piece. As I mentioned, some of the things at this yard sale were marked and others were make an offer. So when I filled my box with all of these treasures, the woman in charge said, make me an offer. Since I was already paying $10 for the Pyrex, I decided to offer $20 for everything else. I felt like that was a fair offer. It was the very beginning of the yard sale and I didn't really want to lowball them, but I knew that I got some items that I was definitely going to treasure as well. I decided to head to another yard sale that was also kind of an estate sale being held in the same area. Hanging outside on a laundry clothesline, I spotted this super colorful textile. As you can see, this is a beautiful, brightly colored textile, and it's quite long. You can see it has fringe on the ends here. I'm not sure if this is a table runner, you would put this at the bottom of your bed or exactly what it is because it looks like it is balanced so that it would hang over something. When I was admiring this colorful piece, the woman in charge of the sale came up to me and told me that she purchased this when she was a Peace Corps volunteer in Guatemala. One of the missions of Peace Corps is to bring back the culture, it's cultural exchange. And so she brought back these pieces for her family members when she returned. She also had this small piece piece and this shows the technique of backstrap weaving. So I definitely decided to take this home with me because she was only asking a dollar for it. And of course I love blue in this vibrant color. I do plan to travel to Guatemala someday so I don't want to buy too many Guatemalan textiles until I have a chance to go there myself. However, since I'm probably not going to be traveling for a while, I decided to buy this because it had a really good story. So I ended up paying $10 for this beautiful piece. She told me that you should wash this in salt water and and 
order to preserve the color. So we'll see what happens when I decide to wash this. As I mentioned, I showed up to this sale a little bit later, so a lot of items had already been picked through and purchased according to the people in charge. However, I did manage to find this white swirl bowl by Fire King. I believe this is the five inch bowl and it's in really good condition. It doesn't look like it went through the dishwasher at least not too many times. As you can see, it is marked Fire King here on the bottom. She ended up just throwing this in. As I was heading out, I spotted a wagon that was filled with textiles and I found this hand embroidered piece that would have been for a card table. I decided to get this piece because I really liked the design of the characters here. As you can see, they're anthropomorphic vegetables and fruits and they're just so cute. This is in pretty good condition, although there are some stains, but luckily the actual designs are not stained and I might decide to trace these so I can recreate them. Here are some apples. This looks to be a pear. This looks like maybe a peach and a banana. This looks like maybe it's a cabbage or maybe a turnip. And you can see the center has quite a lot of other adorable fruits and vegetables. Even though I love textiles and other handmade things, I try to be selective because there's only so many that I can have and use. I think that you could display parts of this so that the adorable fruits and vegetables are visible, or since it is stained and it does have a hole in it, potentially cut it into smaller pieces and display those. Either way, I was happy to take this home for a dollar. As you can see, it doesn't really matter how many yard sales you go to as long as you find quality items that you can add to your collections. Leave a comment and let me know what you've been hunting for at yard sales this season. Thanks for checking out my yard sale haul. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my future videos. If you'd like to see what else I've picked up at yard sales, check out this playlist. Have a good one. Goodbye.